He wrote about the bitter irony of listening and then going out and doing nothing. The story's called Duckland, and it goes a little bit like this. It was a lovely Sunday morning in Duckland. All the ducks dutifully came to church, waddling through the doors and down the aisles to their pews, where they comfortably squatted. When all were well settled and the hymns were sung, the duck minister waddled into his pulpit and he opened the duck Bible and he began to read, saying, Hear ye, O ducks! Ducks have wings! And with wings you can fly like eagles! You can soar into the sky! Ducks, use your wings! It was a marvelous, elevating, inspiring scripture. And all the ducks nodded their beaks and quacking their agreement with a hearty quack and amen. And then, when the benediction was given, they plopped back down from their pews and waddled back home. First contrast is the wise and the foolish. The wise duck, he's not content to just listen. He's not content to just hear the teachings and hear the exhortations to repent and to be poor in spirit, to bow low and enter through the narrow gate. He's not just content to hear someone tell him, receive Jesus Christ the Savior times 10 and Lord times 700 and live a holy life that surpasses the scribes and Pharisees. No, the wise duck actually repents. The wise duck actually becomes poor in spirit, enters the narrow gate, receives Christ Jesus as Savior and as Lord, and lives a holy life surpassing the scribes and Pharisees.